Welcome back to Good Day Christmas. It's just 158 days away. So start your celebrating and shopping now. We have the perfect place, the Toledo Zoo. Jen Russell has the hot chocolate ready. Well, frozen hot chocolate, that is. Good morning, Jen. <laughs> yes. Good morning. <laughs> yeah, so you're going to have hot chocolate, but you know, it's going to work better for yes, July. Yes, we are. <laughs> Yes, we will. We are so excited. We have our annual Christmas in July celebration happening this Friday and Saturday evening. So yeah, we're right here by the Bistro. I'm standing next to Frosty here and there will be plenty of um, winter Christmassy food and beverage options throughout all the concession stands. So there will be our world famous hot chocolate will be frozen. So I mean, could it get any better, right? <laughs> it sounds great. You know, everybody loves Christmas. So, you know, why not celebrate it twice uh, a year as six months uh, apart? Yes. Uh, so what else? You're going to have some lights, but obviously probably not the full display that we're, we're used to seeing in, in December. Right, yes, we will have a section of our lights on so people get a preview in warmer weather so they can enjoy the lights um, on the south side of the zoo. So once you get off the bridge or tunnel, um, you will hit our um, historic side of the zoo and we'll have all kinds of beautiful light displays. We'll have some snow machines that the kids can have fun playing in. Like I said, we'll have plenty of photo opportunities like Frosty that I'm standing next to. And then we'll have some really cool strolling performances, um, some light up, light up circ performers. We have Buddy the Elf that'll be making his way around the zoo um, and then we'll have some other character meet and greets and then we have a glow-in-the-dark mini golf that people can play we'll be blasting Christmas music throughout zoo grounds um, plenty of food and beverage options that are like seasonal that you might see during lights before Christmas but with a little summer flair to them and uh, yeah and even some fun like I'm sporting the Christmas in July t-shirt that uh, people can pick up too at our gift shop so it's it's just a really great time there's ice carving demonstrations and all um, uh, our exhibits are open as well, and if it's hot, our splash pad will be open too. So this is in the evening, though. So you know, during Christmas yes. time, the sun goes down a little bit, uh, <laughs> a little bit earlier. So you have to kind of yes. keep it open a little later. Yes, we will be open. Um, the event runs 7 to 11 with last admission at 10 o'clock. You can go to ToledoZoo.org to find the complete schedule of events, but um, you can get your tickets uh, online if you'd like. And then for members for the zoo, um, it's free. So you can come both nights and celebrate with us and you know listen to some Christmas music, do some Christmas crafts and all kinds of fun. And there's something um, for adults on Friday gamers, is that right? Yeah, on Friday we um, we have a mobile video gaming unit. So um, for any of you gamers out there, maybe some of the older kids or even adults that love that, um, that'll actually be parked right behind me, so people can play um, video games here at the zoo too between 7 and 9 p.m. So we're excited about that. Um, and, and like I mentioned, a lot of the exhibits and animal um, animals will be out, and exhibits will be open. The train, the carousel, the splash pad, the barnyard, the museum, the aquarium. So it's, it'll be fun to. Kind of visit the zoo in the evening enjoy the lights when maybe you don't have to get so bundled up like you do during like normal lights before Christmas yeah that's what I was thinking you know cuz I'm the Florida girl here so you know I'm used to Christmas time you know not having <laughs> yeah. to, to bundle up like that what do people say they enjoy so yes. much about having being able to have this experience in July it's a, it's a great way to celebrate with your family here at the zoo and people love lights before Christmas so it just kind of gives them a little bit of a teaser and there's so many fun activities and photo opportunities and exhibits to explore so it should be a really great time the event grows year after year and sometimes we beat daytime attendance we have so many people that come during the night so we're you know we're open all day that day but we really want people to um, come out and enjoy these evening events and get to see the zoo you know in a little bit different perspective and then enjoy the nice weather you know and then on Sunday the fun continues you um, won't have all of the exhibits yes. and activities um, but people can come for the concert on Sunday Right, yes, our Music Under the Stars concert series where we have free concerts um, in our beautiful historic amphitheater on Sunday evenings. That will be happening, so we'll have a performance going on between 6 and 7.30 in our main plaza um, where people can stroll around and enjoy the lights that evening as well. And then at 7.30 there's the free concert, so they can grab their lawn chairs and um, grab a, a cold beverage or a snack or something and then watch a really great concert. So, um, and still get to see the lights on that evening. 
evening. You know, and then there's there's been a, a lot of new things happening at the zoo, so if people haven't come out lately, you've got some new exhibits and new animals to check out. Yes. Yes, for sure. If you haven't seen our polar bear cubs that went out in exhibit this spring, Kalik and Kalu, they are growing so fast, so you don't want to miss it. So um, you can visit them. And then we have our Kuminz family Kodiak Ridge exhibit. So um, you can visit our grizzly bears and our Kodiak Ridge bear. And that's like right past um, our tiger exhibit. So people are really enjoying that. That opened up this March. So um, come on out and see those and enjoy some really fun, festive Christmas activities and enjoy the lights. Yes, very good. Okay, so Friday, Saturday and then the concert there on Sunday. Yep. Jen, thank you so much for joining us yes. this morning. We appreciate it. Yes, thanks. Take yeah, care. We're excited. Thank you.